Alright, uh, good afternoon. My name is Manning, and I'll be refuting a speech regarding the importance of space travel in the U.S. Um, the advocate's secondary claim, or the major claim, was stated as follows: space travel is important to the United States. And the secondary claim for that space travel is important since it advances technology, uh, increases knowledge, and maintains U.S. superiority. The background information that was given was that NASA's federal budget um, is to be reduced from 0.6 to 0.5, which is supposed to mean a loss of millions of dollars. Um, and it will cancel the previously scheduled attempt to go to the moon and possibly Mars. However, there is no citation to back this up. And in my own research, I found that NASA has been allocated nearly $20 billion for 2010. And uh, that is a substantial increase compared to the past few years, um, in which the budget was between $16 billion to $18 billion, which is according to the online uh, Forex trading. And also, the initial JFK code provided about why space exploration is important is considerably outdated and does not reflect on the <coughs> current situation. Uh, the advocate's first claim is that the pursuit of space travel advances technology, and uh, this has led to the creation of products such as memory foam mattresses, water filters, Velcro, Teflon, and Tang. Out of these five examples, only uh, memory foam mattresses and water filters are actually derivative of NASA research. And although water filters have been in existence since the 1950s, NASA improved the process, which was then adopted for commercial use. Um, in regards to Velcro and Teflon, though, they were invented by George de Mistral in 1948 and the chemist Roy Plunkett in 1938, respectively and they were not associated uh, with NASA, although both these products were used by NASA. And uh, Tang was formulated by William Mitchell um, for General Foods Corporation in 1957. And it's only associated to NASA due to the fact that NASA used it um, on their Gemini flights in 1965, and it was uh, heavily advertised. Um, the advocate's speech was misleading in that he made it seem that these five common household items were actually invented by NASA, which most of them were not, and only and they're only associated in being used by NASA. Uh, in this regard, the advocate's claim that the pursuit of space travel advances technology is weakened. And the second claim is that um, the advances made in space travel carry over to an increase in knowledge. The grounds are that um, specialty equipment developed by NASA um, allows for 3D graphical, geographical maps to be generated, along with the ability to monitor the ozone layer, um, study the air quality, and climate changes. While I'm sure that all this data is very important, um, NASA is not the only program or professional field that strives to gain an increase in knowledge, and who is to say like, one more one is more important than the other. Uh, information is meaningless without any way to apply it. And the third and final claim is that the space program <coughs> helps to maintain the U.S. superiority as a, super, as a superpower. Um, the warrants given are that it brings prestige to the U.S., reduces tensions with our neighbors, and allows us to find new resources. However, there are no grounds to support these statements. There are there are no space mines that I'm aware of in which we are drawing resources from. There are no recent statements or data mentioned to say that NASA is currently bringing a lot of prestige to the U.S. Uh, perhaps the work in the International Space Station has helped to alleviate like some, some tensions with participating countries, but it would be a stretch to extend that train of thought beyond just that. And in conclusion, the advocate's uh, first claim about advancing technology, like the examples were misleading, and the second claim about uh, increasing knowledge doesn't have sufficient warrant, and that the third claim about uh, U.S. superiority lacks um, any evidence. Thank you.
All right, all the structural things are fine. Um, the uh, claim that the quote on the first point is outdated is mostly asserted. The argument about the derivatives being um, products that pre-existed NASA, I thought that there was some good factual data on those points. You should give us a source citation on those. I don't doubt that what you're saying is true on the two or three things that you mentioned. Um, and then you kind of give us this explanation about why we've misunderstood the relationship, which I think is a good explanation, but again, I think uh, the earlier data would uh, be uh, stronger if you gave us a source on that. The transition to the second point was pretty sharp. Um, you know, we're back to some of the same issues here. You've got a couple of challenges on reasoning that these uh, advantages are not unique, that they could be gone in some other way but uh, I don't have any data or evidence to support that particular point. Uh, the signpost on the third point was clear. Um, and uh, your basic argument here is that the if advocates' claims are uh, asserted, and I think that that's probably true, but uh, you need to, I think, if you, for example, could demonstrate that any of those points were either were not true or that there was some other causality to them, you'd have a stronger argument on that response. So um, it's, it's mostly a set of presses, a couple of good presses at that, uh, strongest on that uh, first point there because of the factual data, but give us a source citation. All right, thank you.